Hello and welcome back. My name is Colton from Ankeny Van Builds and today we're going to be installing some solar panels onto the roof of our van. But before we do that, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And with that out of the way, let's just jump right into it. So on this van, I'm going to have three 100 watt solar panels from Renergy. And let me just preface this, I'm going to post the links to everything I'm using for this entire solar setup in the description down below. So if you have any questions, check the bio and you'll be able to see those. So that being said, I'm gonna be using these brackets that come with it, with the solar kit, or you can buy separately, whichever you choose. In those boxes comes all the hardware needed for it and some screws if you wanna drill into the top of the van. I will not be doing that to this van because instead I'm gonna be using this 3M VHB uh, adhesive. This stuff is extremely strong, borderline permanent. They use it for attaching glass windows to skyscrapers. So this stuff is very strong. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now co to connect all of these solar panels together, you need, and if I'm being honest, I don't remember the names of these. I think it's like MP4, PP something, I don't know. Again, link in the description, but they come in different um, varieties. So because I have three solar panels, I needed the three to one connection and I need it for both the positive and the negative. Um, I'll be showing you how to connect all that later. And from these connections, uh, these three-way connections, you need two 15 foot long extension cords with a male and a female plug on either side. And that's gonna come to this adapter that I got for my goal zero uh, 1500 Yeti. It goes from the solar panel cables to this Anderson plug, which is what's going to charge the Goal Zero. I decided to go with this because it is a very simple setup and whoever's going to be buying this van, I didn't want them stressing over, you know, if something were to fail or if they needed to change something out, that they'd have to deal with all this, all these batteries and inverters and all these sort of connections. This is just one simple setup. Something happens, very easy to replace and that was my thought behind that. So to connect one of these brackets, it's really simple. You just get one of these bolts, feed a washer right through that, go up through the bottom, and then you get your bracket, another washer, one of these Loctite washers, and then the nut, twist it on there so it's hand tight, as tight as you can get it. And then you finish it off, I use a crescent wrench and then a 10 millimeter socket. So with these three-way connections here, just to break down really simply, you have three female ends on one, three male ends on the other, and both of them come out to one female and one male end. So, since you have three, three solar panels, you get the female end, and you connect all three of those female ends to this connector. Now with that done, you have one male, and one female connection. So with your 15 foot cable, that'll be able to plug into this. And then vice versa for the other one. And then these 15 foot cables are what's gonna run through the top of the van and down inside to connect to the goal zero. And now one of the last things I wanna do before climbing up on the roof and installing these is I'm going to cut all of my VHB tape onto each and every one of these brackets on all four sides. That way when I get onto the roof, I can just take the tape off, stick it right into place, and then we'll be good to go. Now with all the VHB tape on the solar panels, I'm just gathering the list of supplies that I'm gonna need before I climb up on the roof and install them. So I have my drill here. I just have a regular drill bit on it because I'm gonna determine where I wanna run the cables through. And from the inside, I'm gonna drill a hole up so I know where it goes. 
and then I have an inch and a half Forstner bit. That'll be big enough to run the connections that go from the solar panel to the goal zero. And because we're drilling a hole in a van, needed the metal file to take away any of those little slivers. I'll get some uh, Rust-Oleum paint and electrical tape to, to line that hole that I cut so it doesn't rub against the wires. I just got this at Home Depot. It's like a junction box. So I'm gonna run the positive and the negative from the solar panel through both of these holes here and through the bottom. I'm gonna seal up the edges of that with some butyl tape and where the wires go through, I will also line this with some butyl tape. That way, no water or anything can get in to that box. And some scissors. Gotta bring scissors up there to cut the butyl tape. But other than that, that should be everything. So let's climb up on the roof and start putting some solar panels in. All right, so here's the solar panels up on the roof. I haven't attached them yet. They're still free to move, but I think this is probably the best layout for them. I wanted to do them perpendicular to the van and have them three in a row, but there just wasn't quite enough cable in between each one to connect it. So I have the positive and the negative on both of them up here, and that way they can connect to the middle right here a lot easier. So I think I'm gonna have it set up like this and then have this junction box tucked right up against it. That way the positive and the negative can go right in through there and I will drill my hole right there. That way water doesn't pool up uh, where the hole is and it just helps prevent, if any water does get into this junction box, it'll prevent water from pooling up and going into the van itself. So. I'm gonna find where this spot is on the inside of the van and drill up through and start running some wires. So coming to the inside of the van, here's the slider door. And right up here is where I drilled the pilot hole just to see where it would go. I had to peel some of my insulation back so that's why it looks so dirty. Probably would have been a better idea to do this step before insulating, but it's really not that big a deal. So. I like the spot, I like the position. I'm gonna drill my inch and a half uh, hole here and be able to run the cables so that it'll stay behind the tongue and groove ceiling I'm gonna be putting in. So here's the inch and a half hole that I just drilled. I made sure to file it down with this metal file and I taped around the edges and sprayed it so that there's no exposed metal. And while that dried, I layered this junction box with some butyl tape and when I put this in I noticed that there's still a bit of a gap underneath where this valley is so I'll just do what I did on the max air fan and double up the butyl, butyl tape there these wires in place. This butyl tape kind of acts almost like a Play-Doh consistency, but it is very sticky. This box isn't going to go anywhere and no water is going to be able to get in there, which is the most important part of this whole thing. So with that done and these solar panels installed, time to go into the van, check where the uh, the wires went and that's about it for installing the solar okay I apologize for the lighting the Sun went down and it got dark on me really quickly but let me show you where we are out so up here in this mess is the hole that we drilled and the wires that are gonna come through I ran them through this channel all the way down until it spits out the ground here and then I connected it using this adapter from uh, using this adapter from goal zero and plugged right in and you can see this blue light 
See that blue light that's on there? Uh, that is showing that the connection is working and it's on. It's dark, so you're, we're not going to be getting any charge, but tomorrow we'll take a look at it. So that right there is kind of the main reason why I went with the Goal Zero setup, because in essence, it's just a plug and play kind of system, as long as you buy the right adapters and right pieces. So that's why in the description below, I will leave everything you need as far as the connections to make that whole system work. In a later video, I'll show you how I wire like all the lights and the switches. Um, I'm just not quite there in the build yet to include all that stuff. I gotta start putting up the walls and stuff like that, but I will give you a, a thorough rundown of how I connected all the 12 volt lights, the fridge, the outlets, whatever. So, and the reason I'm doing that is because that was the biggest obstacle I had to overcome when learning how to build out a van was all of the electrical stuff. There's some videos out there that the people are really, really smart. They really know what they're talking about, but that kind of comes at a clutch because they kind of skip over the really basic stuff that I didn't, even, I didn't even know yet. So I will, I'll try to do my best and include all of those things so that you guys don't miss out. So on that note, make sure that you're hitting that notification bell. So when I post a new video, you guys don't miss out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.